Diesel injector nozzles explain. After doing two videos that got my blood pressure up, I think I'm going to do a video now that is going to put me at ease because I like talking about technical topics. And for the 90% of my subscribers who can't watch all the way through a technical video, maybe this is why you're having some issues with your cars you can't resolve. I don't know. I have a bad attention span as well, but this is a video worth watching. So. This is an injector nozzle. This is the bottom half of an injector nozzle. Well, actually, no. This is a nozzle holder. This is the bottom half of the nozzle holder. This is the injection nozzle. And this is the nozzle pintle. And today we're going to talk about injector nozzles and what they mean and what their designations are. So, every diesel Mercedes has injectors. Now, most gas Mercedes do too. Today we're focusing on diesel injectors and we're going to look at these injectors and see what the different designations mean. So on Mercedes, there were three different pressure ratings that are stamped onto the nozzle holders. And those ratings are 115 bar, 130 bar. They're going to be stamped right here on the top. 130 bar and 135 bar. If you have a really old car, like a 190D fin car, not a W201 or a 200D fin car, those cars had radically different injectors as well that we're not going to discuss, but they open at even lower pressures. And injector pressures are a compromise of giving the engine enough fuel so it doesn't run too lean, keeping engine noise down, keeping pollution and nitrous oxides down, and also promoting good fuel economy. The way it works is the noisier the engine, the leaner the spray, the better the fuel economy, the less fuel the engine burns. But also the engine's going to be noisier, and at certain points in its cycle it may not have as much power. When you have injector nozzles that open at lower pressure, spray more fuel, you get higher pollutants, less fuel economy, but the engine's quieter. It can be a little easier to start and sound better when it's cold, and it may have a little bit more power. Although power is tied also to how well the nozzle atomizes the fuel or turns the fuel into a fine mist. So when we open this up and take this part off of the bottom, there are some other parts in here, but what you're really looking for is this guy. And there are several designations of this little nozzle. And so these nozzles are designated, S, they have SD numbers, SD220, SD240, SD261, and SD265. Now let's look at all four of these nozzles and try to understand where they were used. SD220 is going to be an older diesel, like an OM615 engine 220D or 200D. These nozzles were designed for lower pressure, and potentially higher volume, they work best with pneumatically governed injection pumps, so they have a wide range of lean to rich. But at the end of the day, even if one does find its way into a 300D turbo engine, the engine might smoke more, but it'll get plenty of fuel. These nozzles, these SD220s, are not particularly quiet. They're not known for being quiet, but they are known for being good, durable nozzles, and you can actually throw them in an ultrasonic cleaner and clean them off pretty good, and they will work okay, although the engine might be a little bit smokier. The SD220 was eventually superseded by the SD240, which is quieter. These are the preferred nozzle on an OM616 or 617 non-turbo engine, like a 240D or a 300D. These SD240 nozzles are quieter, they're a little bit leaner, and you can use them in some of the older cars as well, and get some mild improvements in engine noise and fuel economy. However, the SD240 is also sufficient for use in a 300D turbo, meaning it's a very ubiquitous injector nozzle that can be used just about anywhere. Now, the SD240 was complemented by the SD261, and again, these designations are stamped right here. It says DNO, SD261. So these designations are on any type of 
Bosch like de Bosch designed diesel injector nozzle, whether it's made by Monarch or by Basio or by Bosch in India, you get the picture of what I'm saying. It's on any injector nozzle. The SD261 works best in OM617 turbo diesel applications, but you can put it in a 240D or a 300D non-turbo. I just don't recommend it because it's really designed to work with a 135 bar nozzle holder. That's what that injector was designed to do. And the 135 bar nozzle holder was designed exclusively for the 300D turbo. And then later on, 300 SDL, 190D 2.5, 2.5 turbo, 190D 2.2. All of the OM601, 2, and 3 engines use these 135 bar holders as well. These 135 bar nozzles, though, on the OM601, 2, and 3 engines were upgraded to an SD265 nozzle. And the reason for that is this nozzle is even leaner and works efficiently at very high pressures of 2100 PSI or somewhere between 135 and 140 bar. These work most effectively at 135, but they can go a little bit higher. And because these engines were designed to run more lean and they had cross flow heads and they had cooler engine, they had cooler combustion chambers the fuel mixture could be reduced significantly. Of course, the big one was the aluminum head on these engines, which has caused more problems than I think it has helped. So, this is a quick run through of all the different nozzle types. Now you know what goes in your Mercedes and what doesn't. And if you found this video to be helpful, please like, share, and subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. And I'm going to tell you one more great fact about these injector nozzles. So, when you have an older nozzle and it's Bosch France or Bosch Germany, it doesn't mean that the nozzle is necessarily bad. If you have an ultrasonic cleaner and your nozzle's not totally blown up, in other words, you test it and it looks pretty good, you can actually take the nozzle apart, run it through, run it through an ultrasonic cleaner, clean it and reassemble the whole thing and then test it again. If you don't get streamers, which are little pre-pressurized, streams of fuel spraying out of the tip of the injector, which if you've ever tried to rebuild a Mercedes injector with Indian made Bosch nozzles, you will see plenty of. If you don't see these, then it means your nozzle's good and it should let out a nice spray and even a little eek if it lets out a squeaking noise and everything is good. I hope you guys found this information extremely useful. If you did, please think about coming back to this channel for more great Mercedes information. And if you watch this video all the way to the end, I really appreciate that too. And if you're watching us on Patreon and you're a Patreon supporter, I appreciate you even more. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.